punish, honestly, you went through that type punish without so getting back on stage. I went over you. Yeah, if I hit you, that would have been it. Yeah, yeah. I should have gone The first time I was like, one was like, So it looks like we've got, oh interesting, um, I, I assume the names haven't been changed and that Paldi and Croak are not playing. That or the chameleon? It, it's, it's true, it looks like Mega and uh, Mega and Simon are playing. Okay, or also known as Paldi and Croak. What's that? Also known as Paldi and Croak. That's right, also known as Paldi and Croak. Yeah. Um, this is an interesting matchup because um, you, you'd think that Paul would be able to get in there and deliver all those, um, or not Paul, that's Simon. That name is confusing Paul, me. Paul, no, it's Paul. It, it's Paul. You'd think that Simon would be able to get in there and like really just stop Ike from doing anything. But Mega is one of the most fantastic people at spacing I've ever seen. And I think what's really interesting about this is that I never saw Paul play Fox before. And now Paul's playing Fox. <laughs> what, a, what a strange turnaround in yeah. the... Uh, do, do we know what game this is? I assume this is game Ultimate one. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Oh, okay, yeah. Fair, fair. Um, hang on, we're gonna let, let, let's 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 fix everything up. So uh, so that we're clear. So it's no challenger. Mega. Okay. And back to zero. All right. Um, so did you see how uh, Simon lost his doctor? No. All right. Amazing job we're doing commentating. I say. All right. So. Alright, Big Sword Guy beats Little Fox Man. That's right. Sometimes Big Sword Guy beats Little Fox Man. Uh, but as we can see, Mega's doing a very good job at landing all those combos and then. He's doing a good job letting landing that foot on his head. Yeah, Simon's, um, as Fox, Simon's best kill move other than up smash is probably back air. Oh, up air too, of course. Um, back air of those probably being the hardest to land, so he really, he really waited. Played the waiting game pretty well there. That was, that was interesting. That was just mega stuff. I want to see more mega stuff. I, I, I love mega stuff. Oh, let's do it. Alright, I'm done commentary. Alright, alright, alright. If anyone wants to hop in commentary. Uh, otherwise it's the it's the javelin hour. And we're seeing um we're seeing another back air kill, this one from Mega, netting game one. Game one goes to Mega in a in a in a well fought uh, game one. Wait, what happened one of your he had to play his match. Mm -hmm. Does someone want to commentate with Julian? Alright, it can it can be the, the javelin power hour, I don't care. Whichever uh, one works. I'll get in. Are, are you sure? Yeah, Paul, I'll, I'll get in. Paul, Paul's, I have a, my Paul's a throaty boy today. So. Yeah, I know. Like my throat feels like really dry. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Um, I've been encountering that problem, and I think it's been the toothpaste that I've been using. Hmm. Um, it's a prescription toothpaste called Prevident, which uh, oh. coats your teeth. Mm -hmm. So it's like you've gone to the dentist after using it. Mm -hmm. It I also dries your throat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I'm just gonna. I was using it twice a day. I'm gonna use it once a day and see if it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. I have so, no solution for you. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so uh, what if I miss game one? Because Omega took game one. Omega took game one uh, pretty convincingly. By okay. the time he was down to his last stock, uh, Simon was at 106 and he was killed in the back air. Mm, okay. Um, so. Basically, Mega was up a stock on Simon for, uh, pretty much the whole time. Mm. Yeah, um, No Children has had, uh, I guess, like, 
he, he's been having like a struggle versus uh, Mega. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, like it, it's been like pretty decisively in Mega's favor. Right. He's doing a good job at really getting in there because I feel like the key to victory is really don't let up on the assault, don't give Mega time to do that spacing. That yeah. He's so good at. Like, yeah, exactly. Fox should just like not allow uh, Ike to breathe. Right. And so far, like Simon's doing a pretty good job of that. Yeah. As long as he doesn't like push his his advantage too far. Like there, mm -hmm. he tried to get like a side B pickup. Right. And that just wasn't really a risk worth going for. He had center stage. He could hold it down. Exactly. Um, he's yeah, no, he's doing a much better job keeping Mega in a position where he's not really allowed to um, start those throw combos mm -hmm. or anything. Um, going for the double roll behind to get <laughs> that grab. Um, I, I'd like to see uh, Simon just play like a little bit more patient, just like stand there, especially yeah. when you have the lead. Because like Ike's approach game, very linear, very poor. That's right. What That's whoa! I can't believe that beat up the down smash. Yeah. And he gets a stock okay, for it. Okay. Okay. Incredible. Yeah. Simon. Simon's kicking himself into high gear right now. Yeah. And all, I don't want to okay. cast merit. Huh? Well, I mean, I didn't want to, but then no one was doing it. And he does the same angle again, but it goes for a ledge, a ledge hop mm -hmm. down here. Yes. Man, Mega's, I, I feel like Mega's eruptions oh. are a very good mind game, um, if anything, but I feel like he could just jump out there and edge guard. Like, okay, what a so, game. so si si yeah, Simon went for a dare to a fair pistol, but he didn't react in time to the fact that he wasn't facing the right way. <laughs> he went for a bare book goal, which doesn't really work. I think it does. I mean, it does, but not on Chris. Fox of Bear is pretty fantastic. Well, yeah. anything, I think it only works on Chris. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you say so. <laughs> I think I think he's been doing that. He has been playing more patiently now. He's, he's yeah. waiting to read what where Mega goes. It looks like he's been waiting for Mega's landing oh, yeah. options and how poor they are to strike. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's really what you want to do right now. When you have the lead, you want to just like be very stationary mm -hmm. and be very difficult for Ike to deal with. Exactly. Just, just get a f get a few hits in there. He's actually pretty close to rage with him. Okay. Being killed with up smash, but yeah. now with all that rage gone. I don't blame him for going for that because like that should be a vortex at that percent. Mm -hmm. But I guess maybe there was so much rage. Oh no, I don't really know what it was. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Ike was able to come barreling down with a forward air and take That's it. That's right. That huge disjointed hit hitbox yeah. that knocks Fox out of pretty much any recovery option mm. for one. Simon's really playing keep away right now. As you should. I mean, he's got a 100% lead. The only way Ike really builds up that percent is from his grab combos or getting like a tilt into something. Yeah. But if Simon is just playing all the way away from him, that's yep. never going to happen. And he's also do being very good at forcing Ike to have to like either just sit in shield or engage his mediocre cross up mm. options. Because he keeps ending up behind him and Ike just has to sit in shield. Right. Granted, Fox's shield pressure could be better. Chris looking to bring this back. Mm -hmm. It's just, he's, he's making a zone and he's. he's and he's, he's picking up a lot of percent every time he gets a hit, and that's scary. Yeah, he, Especially oh my God. with Rage. Yeah, he's already Fox halfway could explode. there. He really only landed like four hits, and Simon's at 63 percent. Uh, and here's the, the oh first. No. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was, that but he was almost, so he almost scary. Died he almost to a did it again. One. Falling up oh there. No. Ah! That. Why? Mega. Oh wait, that's actually brilliant. Yeah, he, he blocked a recovery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I actually, I theory crafted doing that once. Like, if you have mm. the lead, just like jump out there and get hit by like side B, wow. and that, that'll kill him. That, damn, Simon, oh, Simon is really like. But I, I was, I was scared because like I've fair. seen people die to side B off the top. I, I've died yeah, to side B off the top. I was yeah. scared of that too. Yeah, but hey, oh, here we are, game three. Yeah, going to FD. <laughs> game three. That was that was a really awesome play from Simon. Mm -hmm. I know that Chris really likes the stage because uh, he he really likes just like vortexing people with grab. Like mm. he'll do his grab combo and then just like uh, like walk over to where they're trying to land and then just power shoot grab. Interesting. Or grab. Um, but hey, this is also really good for Simon because Ike doesn't have anywhere to retreat to in disadvantage. It's so once he gets sent up there, he's taking another dash attack up till or up air on his way down. That's right. And it looks like Simon's starting to start something. Yeah, he did. Yeah, it was really close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, for, for, for those who missed it, Simon uh, clutched Simon, that game. Simon had a huge lead, down. and then like Chris was bringing it back, and Simon denied him. Yep. Literally, with his Yeah, body. no, the, the way he edge guarded was a denial. He, he blocked it. Decided. Direct denial of service. Mm -hmm. They're about even in percent, mm -hmm. and uh, returning to the neutral, though Simon, Simon's looking to start something. Yeah, Simon's moving awfully quick, trying to just oh, set up a lot so of percent. Good. Yeah. But if her Ike's the best character in the game. Um, <laughs> <Sam>? <laughs> Oh, wait, no, wait, no, I'm thinking of Bayonetta. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I do I look, they do look alike. I can understand yeah. the mistake. Ooh, yeah. calls out the Did side B back on stage. What's that? Did you see Ike's legs? Ike has some pretty fantastic legs. Yeah, he does. Mm -hmm. He's got everything fantastic. Yo? Mm -hmm. He's really just the fantastic human being. It's true. Body goals, I mean. Mm -hmm. 
but it looks like, ooh, not not a good place for Simon to be. I feel like Simon has been hit by pivot forward to like four times in a yeah. row. So I really want him to stop rolling in Simon. <laughs> but hey, this 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 could be pretty big if he catches the landing, but he doesn't. Chris actually goes for a really interesting mix up with the side B over him. He hasn't done that yet. Don't dive that. That, that okay. no, that is a up tilt, but it's a weird up tilt. Oh, I thought. Wow, did he did his back air beat out Simon's back air? Yes. Mm. Uh, I think Ike's is faster. Actually, I'm not sure. Ike's, Ike's is pretty fast. I would no, Ike is absolutely. I think Ike's he got it out of the faster. Um, Ike, yeah, I, he started it first for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this, uh, this it's, is scary because like, got his back air, I like got kill. Chris only wants one thing, and it's hecking disgusting, and that's up. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't seen him pull any out this game. Yeah, but this all the more reason to use it in game three. Exactly. I mean, it's just, it's just oh, so oh, he, he could he, he could have it out. He could have. Oh, but he this would be really good if Simon takes yeah, it. Simon took a big risk and Chris did not get the payoff, which. Oh man, you've just really got to jump all carefully. over the place. Really oh, what's he gonna get off oh, that? Yeah. Yep, there's the there's the tilt. I was yeah. really scared of him getting tilted in any way. Mm -hmm. Speaking of tilted, if he doesn't like, <laughs> if he doesn't take off the stock, I could see it going in that direction. That's right. Simon's got momentum for sure. Oh, never mind. Simon tried to stop yeah. that, but reset yeah, that. you can hit Ike out of it at the top, but unfortunately, Fox can't jump that high without burning his doubles on his feet, and it puts you at such a risk. Oh my God, that connected. That wow. not only did Daryl really get up smash, but he got up smash with fight. Well, Ike was off stage. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, Ike was hovering over the abyss, and then Fox was like, no, I'm going to knock you yeah. all the way up. Yeah, <laughs> you think you're going down there? Now you're going up to the moon, baby. <laughs> yeah. and, and as we've seen, he, that's, that's how we... Uh, was, was that how we got the first stock in game two, with that uh, dash attack up smash? Uh, I, mm, I think so. It might have been game one, but he's been landing those really reliably. Right. Dash attack is like, for Simon has pretty consistently been connecting into other things. Mm -hmm. As it should. As it should. It's all the way up. Okay, baits out a neutral layer and gets a down air for it. Catches a grab on his landing. Starts the vortex. Ooh, okay. Would have liked to see a turnaround up tilt, but you know, forward tilt works too. Ooh, he definitely tried to dash attack that, and he honest to God shouldn't have, because that was sick. Yeah, and with that with that interesting throw combo to back air, he puts Simon okay. in a pretty disadvantaged position. There. Simon's getting some momentum back. Ooh, he was a l I that like was he, interesting. He, he, maybe he thought the side B was going to go that far, but it seemed a little weird to go all the way there. Yeah. Ooh! Playing a game of chicken with the shield. Simon's up getting close. stage control again. And he has the percent lead too. Stage control versus off stage. What's he gonna do? Oh, oh yeah. That was terrifying. He, he waited. He waited yeah. until he got to the ledge. This is so scary. This is so this scary. Is the jab. Oh, Nair. He didn't want that. He must have wanted a bear. Yeah. Or not. I thought up air was gonna come out. Yeah. yeah. And then we uh -oh. see the first up smash, but it is it is an empty space. Oh my god, wow. no. Simon, Simon, Simon that's dangerous. That. Simon, that's a dangerous move this to put so to uh, do. Winner of this moves on into top 16. Oh my god. Oh, oh, what a power shield! Is that. No, Fox can't really get it. And it's good that, that he didn't go for off smash because I don't think he would have gotten it. Yep. If he, gets a, if he gets a bear, it's Can't get enough of that. He secured stage control for sure no. and netted, netted like another 20%. Good thing he didn't side be back on stage. Chris was ready for up smash and, and that'll the do it with the pop off from No Chillager. Yeah, Damn. Yeah, yeah. Even if Fox grabs that stage like, control, he no, needs to be really, really careful. What an upset. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that that was intense. Uh, kudos to Simon for keeping it together. Chris with a little antsy forward smash. Yeah, um, he kept it together and he really just excelled in the uh, final two thirds of mm -hmm. that. And I really Top pity. I really pity who's gonna run into Chris and losers, honestly. Oh Chris and losers is not okay. It really isn't. It's terrifying. I've experienced it. Oh, okay. All right. There's my match. Nice. Good luck. Thank you. I'm going to get off the mic. Who are we playing? Uh -huh. Michael, who are we playing? Uh, we're playing No Chill here. And, uh, oh my god. Pushed you out of the yeah. way. I was like, hey, what a bracket. bracket. Huh? Doubles bracket. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to go, go for it. You know how to do it. Oh. I think you're gonna like this one. All right. And so it's gonna be uh, SJ and uh, Chalwin. Yeah. Wait, which one's playing? Uh, they're still. Uh, Is that a head tag? I think so. I mean, it, yeah, that's a head tag. It looks like Attack on Titan. No, it, no, it's an actual. I'm no, pretty sure that just I, means I've it's generic. I know the story.